how to export layers to single files in Affinity Designer, PC or Mac. Now what you can do, and these are all layers, some are groups, so we've got over here, if I select this, this is a group. And the reason for being a group means you can export the entire set to a single file. But that's a little bit later. Just gonna go over here and say select this. What you can do, if you just wanna export them individually, simply go to File and down to Export. So File and Export with that selected, that's the key thing, select it, File and Export and then go to selection only. So you've got that triangle selected, selection only. Also, I'm going for PNG. You could go for JPEG, etc. Go for any of those and then click export. There's also more various options are available for that PNG. Now, I don't want to do it that way. And I can quickly add some more designs here. So say I select another, there, just create another design. You can create all of them and you can see over here in the layers panel, all of the layers. Some have got effects as well. To export them all in one single go to individual files. Go up here to the top left and you've got the personas. Go for this one, the third one. This is the export one. So click that and you've got a number of panels suddenly disappearing. So you've now only got layers export options and slices. If you can't see them, go to view, exactly the same as before with Affinity Designer. Go down to studio, but you've got only these ones available. And with that, you can go over here and you can select individual ones. So you can select that one, maybe select that one, select that one. And then you can click create slice and that will create a slice which can be exported just for the ones you've selected. That's the key thing. And you can select it with text. Now, if you go and select all of them, you've got a group in here. You can see here, you've got a group. What will happen? It will export for the group, but it also, because you've selected the parts of the group as well, it will create a slice. You can see down the bottom, create slice. It will create a slice for those as well. You might want that. If you only want it for the group, the key thing is you've got to select this one, select that one, that one, that one, and make certain you only select the group, not these individually. As soon as you select those individually, it will create slices for those as well. So it's the group that you're selecting, and then you can add the final one, the triangle at the bottom. So they're all selected, the ones you want to create as slices. Slices is the intermediary set for the file. So let's just go here, create slice, just at the bottom. So you've got layers panel and create slice. So click there and you can see what happens. It generates slices. Just drag this over now, slices panel. And you've got some options here. I'm not gonna go through those ones, but what I'm gonna show is the export single PNG. That's the one you want. You've got other ones, obviously JPEG, etc. Apple Universal Icon. I'm just going to go with PNG files. And it's created a slice for each of the things that I want to export. So I've got here slice one, which is that. You've got slice six. You can see there, slice six. And you can see this group. Now you haven't got them for the individual parts because I didn't select them. What you can do, you can see you can expand out and they'll all be PNG. And you can see what happens. You've got here one times. You can actually, because it's a vector design, you can turn around and say, I want it to be 50 or whatever. There's probably no limit, but it makes obviously a much bigger file. And you can set up a number of them. You don't have to just create one times the current size. You can set it up to be three and four and 20. So you can create multiple files. And you can see the name there, slice one and slice one PNG. You can change it if you want. Don't have to go with that. You can also expand that out and you can see slice two and you can just click it. And you've got options there. You can just change and tweak things. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go with the default settings there. So you've got slice one. You've got also got path there. You can click there and you can arrange it in numerous different ways. I'm just gonna go with the default. So with that, Slice two 
and again this one you can see down here expand that out and you can see you've got slice five which is that that group and again you can change that if you don't want that you can say maybe three times the size and it will create a file slice five and you can change the naming convention for it as well well i'm just going to now go export slices so export slices now i'm not going to export this one now you can select this one background if you want to export the lot i'm just going to have that blanked out so that's not exported only the ones that are clicked selected there will be exported so export slices and you can also set it up to be continuous so if you make changes it will continue you just update it personally most of the time i want it just to do it this way not doing that so export slices and you can save it to a folder and you can change the folder position you don't have to you go with desktop or whatever so export and let's just go and there it is so you can see then you've got these files and you can see that that png there that one all of them saved obviously it gives you details about the size all those sorts of things modify created just now and of course you can always go and apply it again if you want so again go back here and decide you know what i want a plus there and two times maybe three times or 20 times and it will update that as well so you can see it will update that and again export slices export and of course it will turn around and say well some of them already exist well okay export new items only so you can click that if you wish and you again go there and you can see now you've got this obviously 1.6 it's a larger file so you can create very large files just by using this approach and you can go back to this and of course you can if you wish you can modify these slices perfectly reasonable as well you can also modify many other settings as well once you're happy with that you've created everything finished also if i go export options you've got these export options you can set, change the presets you've got file format you've also got other settings here by linear by cubic lots of different things can be changed for the different formats that are being exported and just go back simply click here designer persona so you go back to designer persona and then you can move things around so let's just move something around now i'm just going to reposition something move that there move that there maybe change the size let's just move things around rotate things and move that resize that maybe change the color so you just go down here and maybe say make that green instead select that and change the color for that one change the size and so on you can change a whole number of things exactly the same as before simply go here click export persona and luckily it has worked out and kept all the slices nicely arranged for those different designs i have noticed sometimes it doesn't <laughs> so uh, it's not a given and also you might find that you have to create another one if you created some additional so if i go back again let's just go back and i'm just going to create another design so if i create another design so let's create that a circle then go to export of course this one doesn't have it and then you simply just go over here and again select that so you can select that ellipse you don't have to export any of them you can deselect them perfectly reasonable but I'm going to go with all of them and create slice. And as soon as you do that, you can see it creates it based around obviously the bounding box of that shape. And you've got it again. Again, go back and so on. You can add more and then go always at some point, just go back to export. You've got all the slices there, you've got slices here. And you can say now you'll notice it's got seven instead of six. It was six before. And you can again click export slices and it will export the slice click ok and it will come up with this message obviously saying that the files already exist export new items only and it's just save that one there so slice seven if you go back let's just go there it is so you've got that design there 
Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Of course, there's lots of other things I could show about the export, but it's a very useful feature. As mentioned, you can always, of course, use the file and export command as well, perfectly reasonable. But this, I think, is a really nice way of creating multiple files with multiple paths. You might have 100 designs on this. It would take a long time to do file, export, file, export. So this is export persona much quicker. Any questions, please let me know. Thank you much.